Hi, Lauren here again for part two of your new parent return and reunion brief. In this section, we're going to talk about bonding with your baby. I know being deployed hasn't helped the fact that you can't physically bond with your baby and that you have missed out on a significant part of your little one's lives. You might be thinking, how in the world can I connect and bond with my baby if I've missed so much of their lives? Um, some of you might have an instant connection when you get back, where some of you might struggle to connect with your baby. What I'm going to do in this section is give you some tips of some things that you can do now, as well as what you can do when you get back to help build that connection and that relationship with your baby again, okay? The first tip I have for you is to talk with your partner now. Make sure that your partner is showing pictures of you, videos of you, and even if you have time right now to do a video chat with your baby, this will help your baby connects your face and your voice together so when you do get home you don't seem like such a stranger um, coming back into the house also talk with your partner about your baby's daily routines and schedules when are they sleeping how are they sleeping when do they nap what do they eat what does their eating schedule look like okay remember babies change every day also make sure your partner is telling you about those changes. What did they do different from yesterday than today? Or different from last month to this month? Did they get any new skills that they learned? Did they develop anything new? Okay, so keep that open connection with your partner back at home. This can make you feel more connected and adjust to your baby once you do get back home from deployment. Um, also give it time. I know if you live in a perfect world of unicorns and rainbows and you get home from deployment and the baby is like, bam, yes, connected, but that may not happen, okay? Let's be realistic. The, may, the baby might see you as a stranger and have that alarm going off of stranger danger. So give it time. If you do not bond instantly, make sure you just take that in. If you do see your baby for the first time, make sure that you go in and you are soothing, you're calm, you lean in and say hello and just give them a little smile. Remember what I said from part one, if you smile to a baby, they will smile back at you, okay? Also keep your baby's routine going just like it was before you got home. You don't wanna disturb any naps, or um, any feeding schedules that they had going on beforehand. So plan your schedule around their schedule. And once you are back after a few days, offer some help um, with the baby's daily routines, such as changing diapers, bedtime, and even bath time. That can help build a connection with your little one. And the last tip I have for you is to relax and just have fun together. Find what makes your baby giggle, lay on the floor with them, play with them, read a book with them, and once the baby warms up with you, spend a lot of cuddle time together. It will happen, the bond will be back, just give it time, and it will happen. Okay, I'll see you back for part three.